is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Oh, hold on, a bunch of tips came in. This is pretty cool. Okay, um, so Shadow Wolf 344 has to me $15 and says here, how are the memberships coming along? You never think you'd be back to where you used to be. Well, if you take a look, as you'll see, we are currently at a record high, 264 memberships and climbing. We actually did get a giant increase in the last few days. We, we were all the way down like 220, and then we have gone over like 30 to 40 more. I think it's twofold reasons why. First of all, Shadow Wolf 344. The first reason I feel is because the goal for this month is Halloween. Halloween event, right? And people like the Halloween event that I do every year. It's a tradition. People like that I dress up. People like that I play a variety of games. People like that they get to nominate and vote on the games for that event. They just enjoy the event in general, okay? So in general, it's great. People enjoy it all the time. They want to see it happen. But in addition to that, now we're heading into the fall gaming season. People this week, I saw people come to the streams this week that I haven't seen since I left Twitch. And they're like, oh, I haven't been on your stream, but now I'm coming back because now all the good games are going to start to come out. So I think that what's happening is people are finally migrating over here, even though they might be waiting because they thought the summer was slow. And now that all these new games are going to be coming out, they're going to be coming over and, and joining and supporting. And I really appreciate that. All right, so things are going better now. We already hit the tier one members goal, which means the Halloween event is happening. The tier two members goal is that you guys will get to... Uh, participate in picking the costume that I'm gonna wear during the Halloween event, okay? Oh my god! What the fuck? What? Oh man. Alright, guys, good night. I'm making, no exaggeration, every month thousands of dollars less here than I was on Twitch. That is no exaggeration between the missing subs that I don't have anymore and between some extra cheer. I used to get a lot of cheers over time on Twitch. I don't get that here. You know, the super chats are getting better, but the memberships, it's a very slow build. And that's giant lost revenue for me that I needed to pay bills. And that's why I'm in the situations where I am, where I have to ask for tips, where I've been doing fundraiser marathons for the last two months. It sucks. I want to have to do it, but that's just the situation I'm in because there aren't those same options that there were on Twitch. They absolutely need to implement these options. They do. Um, I would appreciate it if you were going to contribute tonight. It could be tips because tips are very slow tonight. Super chats are actually quite decent, but the tips are slow. So please, if you can, and thank you if you do. We haven't had enough tips to even do the gunner glasses. So, huh, you know, now would be the time. But we're in the final 15 minutes of the stream, guys. You even bake for money. <laughs> Spawn killer just to be $20. Wait a minute. Money creature just to be $21 and says... Saddle up, cowboy, because we're going to Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah! Whoa, I don't know where that came from. Money Creature with a tip. $21. That becomes the top tip of the night. $82 in tips total. And he says we're going to Tijuana, Mexico. I don't know, did I ever tell you guys this story? Did you guys know that my cousin actually was murdered and passed away in Tijuana, Mexico. I don't know if I ever told you that. Yeah. My, my mother's, well, it was my mother's, my, yeah, my mother's nephew. So my cousin. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away in Tijuana. Certainly wasn't there for good reasons, let's put it that way. From, my, from, my, from what I'm to understand, uh, he used to go across the border a lot to go down there and basically do illicit things like drugs and stuff. And he just ran in with the wrong crowd and someone murdered him to rob him. And that was the end of that. <clears throat> he was always known as like the black sheep of the family. He was much older than me when I was very young. Like when I was like in my early teens, he was already in like his, his uh, late 20s. So he was much older than me. And yeah, he was known as like the black sheep of the family who was into that kind of shit and uh, wasn't basically very friendly with his father, my uncle, uh, because of that. And we all, I only saw him maybe a few times during holiday gatherings when I was very young. And I remember once there was a, um, I believe it was for my uncle's 50th birthday, the family threw him like a big bash kind of celebration. They rented out a hall and invited all of his friends and, and all his family members. And it was like a big buffet and it was music and everything to celebrate like a big birthday bash for him, 50th anniversary birthday. 
and uh, I remember that was the last time I saw my cousin because he was hanging out with uh, with my wife. <laughs> I look how you're laughing too. <laughs> well, it's funny. He was hanging out with uh, my aunts and uncles. I don't know why. Whenever I think about, whenever I think about my family, sometimes I say my wife, and then sometimes I don't know. I always say the wrong thing. <laughs> no, he was not hanging out with my wife. He was hanging out with my aunts and uncles, um, because he basically hung out with everyone but his dad. He would not hang out with my uncle Richie. He would only hang out with everyone but his dad because his dad basically hated him because he knew that he was into drugs and stuff. Um, but yeah, but he hung. He was hanging out with uh, my my other relatives. And I remember he was on the younger side, so I was like a young teenager, and I was talking to him and hanging out with him a little bit. He was a cool guy, but at the same time, like, you knew that he was, like, into shit. You know what I mean? Like, you can always tell. And then it was only, like, I, if I remember correctly, it was within, like, a few months after that birthday celebration for my uncle that... And that, you know what? And that was the weird thing that stood out about that birthday celebration was it was for my uncle's 50th anniversary, and my cousin showed up to be there for dad, you know, his dad, but his dad didn't want to talk to him. So he ended up hanging out with everyone else, all my other relatives, but not my uncle, because my uncle kind of, like, had disowned him because he was, like, the druggie or the black sheep of the family, right? So, so yeah, basically, he died, like, three months later. No one had known what happened to him. He just went missing completely. And then all of a sudden, you, know, you get a phone call from, like, the border patrol or whatever that he had passed away in Mexico and had been contacted by the Mexican authorities, and they said that they had his body, and they found his identification and everything. And that's when everyone kind of found out that he was constantly going south of the border down there uh, to Tijuana and he was into illicit drugs and gambling and all kinds of stuff and then he got murdered and robbed. He's fucked up. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Things that never happened by Phil. Oh yeah? Things that never happened? Fuck off. <laughs> These things did happen. Was he a mule? That I don't know. You know, that who knows? If he, he was definitely into drugs and he was crossing the border, could it have been a possibility? Yes. Was he? I have no idea. Like I said, I was young. I was a young teenager, probably like 13 years old. I didn't know what the fuck was going on with anything with that, you know? I didn't even understand what a mule was. Well, who knows? Maybe he was. I don't know. <clears throat> he pro you're absolutely right, Danny. He probably pissed off the wrong people. He probably got into the wrong circles, pissed off the wrong people. It's sad because a lot of my family, like, I really don't have connection to much or any of my family anymore besides my parents. It's like every all my family systematically over the years kind of hated each other to the point where they just stopped talking to each other but I had no impact on it I was one of the youngest people in in the family and all the older people older than me all got into these feuds and arguments and hated each other and stopped talking you know my uncle Richie moved away to, to another coast and we never heard from him again and uh my godparents had a falling out with my mom for some reason I don't know why my parents were being overprotective I'll tell you why because they were having problems with their marriage. I know I've never really talked about this publicly before. I will right now. This is real and from the heart. They were having problems with their marriage at the time when I was in high school. They may or may not have cheated on each other. I don't know or care because it's not my fucking business and I don't give a shit what they did, right? But what they decided to do, they decided to put me in the middle of it and make me the center of the issue. And because of that, we stopped hanging out and doing anything with them. And the only other relatives that I had contact with really was my got my uh, great aunt and great uncle, and they both passed away. So systematically, when I was a kid, I had a ton of relatives. Like I said, I went to my uncle's 50th anniversary party, and there's like a ridiculous amount of people that I know there. And then over the years, it was like less and less and less to the point where I was like in my 20s, and there was like no relatives left, like no one talking to anyone. They're like, damn. But anyway, I only brought that up because Money Creature is the top tipper of the night, and he is in Tijuana, Mexico next week, and my cousin passed away in Tijuana, pretty fucked up. My mom or dad's brother was 70 when I was 13. No, I just said he turned 50. Not 70, 50. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, now he's up there in age. Now he's very old. He's much older than my mom. And my mom right now is in her 60s, so he would be probably in his 70s, late 70s. Yeah. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. 
but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>